Hi, I'm Colin Ferguson, and welcome to your Canyons News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the J fire from spreading any further. The voting center in Santa Clarita Valley opened up for early voting on Saturday, October 24th, and will last until Election Day on November 3rd. There is even a new electronic voting system for efficiency and convenience. Over 60 electronic tablet booths at the center that are socially distanced and cleaned thoroughly. The center is open every day from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and Election Day 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. On October 9th, Governor Gavin Newsom and the California Department of Public Health released a new COVID-19 guidance for private holiday gatherings. Some of the mandates include having no more than three households gather, having the gathering outdoors, and wearing masks while singing. We're entering into uh, part of the year where things cool down and people are more likely to congregate back indoors and in settings that put their physical proximity uh, and likelihood of transmission uh, transmitting disease at higher risk. Santa Clarita Mayor Cameron Smythe called the orders quite thorough and is not sure how enforceable they will be. L.A. residents and celebrities such as actor Rob Schneider and radio host Adam Carolla have spoke out in protest of Newsom's restrictions. If you are looking for an opportunity to trick-or-treat this Halloween, North Park Community Church will be having a trunk-or-treat event the night of Halloween. This event will allow families to safely enjoy their Halloween by trick-or-treating while socially distancing. The event will begin at 6 p.m. and end at 8 p.m. There will be food trucks, music, and of course, free trick-or-treating. North Park Community Church is located at 28310 Kelly Johnson Parkway, Valencia. Are you looking for a COVID-safe haunted house this Halloween? Cameron McGinnis is a local Santa Clarita resident who is hosting a COVID-safe walkthrough haunted house this Halloween. They have hand sanitizer at the entrance and everyone is required to wear a mask. You can make a reservation for the 29th and 30th through his website, InsaneHauntProductions.com. Reservations are not required for Halloween Day. For more information, check out Insane Haunt Productions on his website and Instagram. That's going to be all from us today. For more, please visit our website at canyonsnews.com and check out our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Colin Ferguson. Thanks for watching.